<laughs> what happened to you, man? You think this is a miracle, and this guy is a god-man? Okay, let me show you something. See? Even I can make this photograph fall. Oh, please, I am not a god-man. I am a simple magnet. Oh, you don't know what a magnet is? Hold on, let's first see if this fake god-man has a magnet. See? He has a big magnet strapped to his chest, which attracts the nails from the photographs, and they fall down after losing support of the nails. Do you know that the same kind of thing happened to a few people in Greece hundreds of years ago? There was a place called Magnesia. When ships would pass near this place, they would break. You know what was happening? Magnesia was full of lodestone minerals, which attracted the iron. So when the ships would pass near this place, the nails from the ship would get attracted to the lodestone. Because the nails came out, whole ships would collapse. Lots of sailors thought that Magnesia was a haunted place, but the lodestone mineral was the cause of the problem. Later on, people discovered the magic of this stone that could attract things made of iron. Because these strange stones were from Magnesia, they were named magnets. You know, I have a gift for you. Here is a magnetic kit. We are about to learn a lot of things today with the help of it. We magnets come in different shapes and sizes, like the bar magnet, ring type, horseshoe type, etc., etc. Ah, you're trying to attract a lot of things, but remember, only few materials get attracted to magnets like iron, nickel, and cobalt. So now you're familiar with one major function of a magnet, which is attraction. We have four major features, but you can also call them properties. Did you know that we can tell directions? Have you ever wondered how ships are able to navigate the vast sea? Look at this sailor. He's using a compass. Oh yes, people in Magnesia found that lodestone would always point towards north if kept freely. So they started using it for checking directions. They took small pieces of lodestone and kept it afloat in water with a wooden cork. They found that the sharp side would always point towards north, and obviously the other side would point towards south. So that is how the compass was born. Wow, you're trying to make a compass. Looks like you need a small magnetic needle. The needle in your hand is not magnetic, but if you rub it with a magnet, it'll become magnetized for some time. Yes, you're doing it right. Now keep this needle on the cork in the plate. See, it's pointing north on one side and pointing south on the other side. This is how compasses work. Pilots of airplanes and sailors on ships use compasses to find directions. Do you know how a compass needle works? It's because of the Earth's magnetic field. Yes, the Earth is also like a big magnet. Earth's magnetic field is spread all over. This magnetic field affects the needle of the compass and makes it point north or south. A magnet always has two poles, and you might have already guessed it, but those two poles are named the North Pole and the South Pole. See? Even I have two poles. So now you know three features of magnets. First is attraction, second is direction, and third are the poles. Oh, one more thing about poles. Poles exist in pairs. Even if we cut a magnet into two parts, both of the parts would have a North and South Pole. Watch as I break this bar magnet. Now I've made two small magnets out of one big magnet, but both of these small magnets have both of the poles. Let me tell you one more feature of magnets. The same poles repel each other. Watch this. See here? Try it yourself. Now see what happens when you put the opposite poles of each magnet together. Hmm, they attract. So now you know all the four features of a magnet. Let's go over them again. 1. Magnets attract. 2. Magnets help in navigation. 3. Every magnet has two poles. And 4. Opposite poles attract and the same poles repel. So now you've learned about the four properties of magnets.